What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug. This is Fights in Tight Spaces out now in early access on the PC and the Xbox One in the gameplay preview program. It is a tactical deck building roguelike, and as always, full disclosure, this game provided by the publisher. So, on my live stream last week, I finished the first area. I'm going to load game here into the second area. I am in the prison van, and I will show you what this game is, what it does, how it plays, and why I think it's pretty cool. So, here we are. Everybody here in the red is my enemy. Enemy. And I am this dude in this suave suit, tailored, I'm sure. And I have these three men so far to dispose of with my fighting. At the bottom here, we have my cards. Very important. And movement, very important. Because right now, they're going to punch me. It's not going to be pretty. So my first order of business here is to get out of the way. Uh, sometimes I can get into the corners here. But right now, I can dash here. And I can... Hopefully, oh, it went, I had lost the card there. So, over here, you can see two out of three, right? That is how many times I can play cards in this particular turn. So, I'm kind of boned here on what I'm doing, but I'm going to just end my turn right now. Because I botched it up, those cards go away, they shuffle, they come back, here we are. Alright, here's an important card, Slip. The Slip card moves you around, and it gains you, importantly, Momentum. Right, because that will give you options as you build your combo meter, which is important in the game. So right now I'm going to punch this guy in the face. You can see he has uh, 26 health. He does 11 damage if he, if he were to punch me, which hopefully he will not. So quick strike that deals 8 damage, pop you in the face. Right, now I have a combo counter and I have a dash and I have a step. So those right now are useless to me. I'm going to do that and end my turn. They'll turn to face me, and once again, I am cornered by these men. Now, I just unlocked Tackle. I can push you back and apply 4 damage to this guy right here. Spear! 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 Alright, and on the ground, I can't do a whole lot with him being down. But, I can dash out of the way, this way, and that's all my cards played there. I can now end my turn, and that handles that. He gets up. But he is now at a much lower hit points there, and he is dazed and confused. So I now have two here. You can see two out of 15 on my combo. I can right spin kick and push my target to the right. This guy right here, push you with a kick to the face. Fan freaking tastic, but I am still potentially getting hit here by this dude with 26 health, and I don't want that, but... I'm going to take that chance. I'm going to hit counter here. We're going to counter. We're going to long counter. And we're going to block. That should ideally say, alright, if he's only going to do 13 damage and I have 28 on my block meter, I should be fine. And I should counter any hits that come my way. So we're going to end our turn here. He punched. Yeah, alright. So the positioning here, also important, right? Because I kicked him to the right and he was already primed to punch me, that was going to happen regardless, so then he punched the other guy. It's all about misdirection and confusion, but now, new guy here, with 18 health, has a knife. And I do not have a knife. But, Mr. Man here with 14 health, I have yonder head smash, which I love. Anytime they are near a wall, and you're usually in tight spaces with a wall, I can smash his head into this and wreck him good. Splatter. Good old splatter house. But I'm still in the line of fire here, so I'm going to step myself right over here. And then we call it, um, even though I can actually add counter here, which is fine, and end my turn. So again, it's all about using whatever you have at your disposal and hoping for the best. Sometimes you can get screwed. It is a roguelike after all. But I've found that generally... I have enough options to make myself to get through with any given scenario. So he has 20. I'm going to do 14 here with the elbow. And I have two left here. Can I dash? No, I can't dash back here. It's the front of the truck, unfortunately. Uh, he has what left? Six. Uh, quick, strike, quick strike is eight. 
And so now, you crumple. You dunzo. And Knife Man will not be knifing me any time soon. So I'm going to play this block card just because... And end my turn. And now Knife Man moves in and wants to knife me a question. And that's not cool. So first and foremost, we will slip out of the way from Knife Man. We will hit that quick kick into the wall. And then we'll hit a tackle. Nope. Yeah. I can't tackle him? No? I'm, I'm not allowed? Okay. Sometimes I'm not super clear on what I can and can't do. I think because this pushes back, there isn't anywhere here to have him push back into. So unfortunately, it's not going to work. So we're going to take this counter here. And we will jolt up. And what well, am I turn? Alright, I have five. I'm gonna hit that right spin kick. Then I'm gonna move to here. Then I'm gonna hit the jump kick. Or no, I can't hit the jump kick. I don't have enough space to hit the jump kick. So, again, it's all about positioning. The cards get reshuffled. He has four hit points. I have four damage. And that's the end of that chapter. Now, there is a challenge there. If I had done that in six turns, only six turns, I would have gotten an additional 30 euro, or whatever that is there. Now, also, the replays. So we've gotten to the end of the stage, and now we get to see what happened in not quite real time. Again, this game is still in early access. It just launched in early access, so I'm hoping by the end of the early access period, these look way flashier and that doesn't happen there and glitch out because the camera is getting all weird so again work to be done here but i think eventually uh with the right amount of finagling they could get to a spot where these look super cool when you finish a stage i mean right now they're they're still kind of cool but there's still a bit of awkward you know moving here moving there moving here that's fine but man if this all looks smooth it would be so freaking cool. And there we go. Now, I get a new card from that, which I can choose. Redirect. Hmm, Head Smash. I already have I already have Head Smash. And Palm Strike. I think I don't have anything quite like Redirect. To force them to change their position and attack immediately. That could be very, very useful. So give me that. Thank you much. Now, you can see here on the map, much like a game like Slay the Spire, I have different stages to choose from. There are random events to choose from, and there is medical to heal up, and eventually you get to the very end here, and you reach the boss. So I got through that whole stage with taking zero damage. That was a pretty good run for an early on in the second round. Now there are different decks to choose from. Starting a new game, you unlock more decks. Essentially character classes, more or less, but still. Early access, and it's not quite there yet. Let's head to the showers here. Don't drop the soap. And to do one more of these in fights in tight spaces. So you can see there in the middle, there is a wall. That wall going to be key, I would imagine. Now, we are surrounded by these two individuals, and I can definitely slip right over here. And do a snap strike in your face. And then I guess I can just hit jolt here and... Hope I get more combo in here. And again, I've got all these points because some cards give you more points to spend in your actions, but I don't have any more attack actions in this turn. We're going to end the turn. So generally, I've found it to be pretty well balanced thus far. I haven't found too many complaints particularly. Um, it's been okay. So we're going to step. We're going we're gonna to dash up here. And we're going to heavy strike right there. And that's going to be it for me in this turn. Quick kick. Can't do that. Or the... Oh, the redirect would have been nice. But I'm not in a position where I need that just yet. So... Yeah, like, if I can move a guy from here to here and he punches him, that'd be great. But I'm not quite there at the moment. I can, however, do my right spin kick. You see there... The, there's an arrow as to where he goes from that. So kick him. He'll punch him, hopefully. And I'll move right over here. And no one will be the wiser. 
Just do long counter and counter, because whatever. End of my turn. And yeah, he got punched. Oh man, sucks to be you. So I have a long strike here that, that will go up till two, which right here is not going to help me out that much. But I have the slip. So we got two damage. We got 14. Let's, let's slip into here. Let's push you. And then we'll hit the jump kick. Like so. He's dead, I'm out of range, and we are good. I still have two out of three left here, and I can't use either because it got to be in a straight line with those moves, unfortunately. So, we end the turn, and that's a machine gun, Carl Anderson. That's not cool at all. So, that's going to be that's a, a shotgun or something. He has definitely a pump action something. Uh, is going to be a problem for me. Assault Rifle Man here with 20 hit, hit points and 8 shield. The shield on the big guys is a problem. So let's hopefully deal with that. He has 26. I want to not... He's going to shoot him, hopefully. So if I jump kick this guy... Like that. Get out of the way. I'm still obviously in here with him. But. Head smash. 17 plus 1 per combo count. I have a 5 combo count. That is a going to be a nice bit of business on. I can't do it. Ah, oh, there's a doorway. The doorway. I didn't account for the doorway. Lame. Lame. Alright, we got 2 out of 3 here. So I'm going to hit that quick strike. Actually, no. I'm going to step here. And just do that. And then, do that, and then end my turn. Oh, he didn't shoot. He wasn't primed to shoot. That's... Man, I thought I had that. I thought I had that. All right, so we got 14, we got 14, and Heavy Strike is indeed 14. So, boom, in your face. I can, let's see here, quick block. I can slip. Let's uh, slip out of the way over here. Hit that quick block, and then end my turn. Now then. Oh no, this is going to go poorly. I can already tell. So, what if we... Redirect you over here. Oh, that's just a... Alright, it's not a put him there. It's a move his attack function there. I didn't know that. Learning things here, and I can't tackle him, which sucks. I'm gonna dash here, I'm gonna block here, I'm gonna end turn here. He's gonna move, he's gonna move, and he's gonna move. Okay, we're in some serious trouble here, aren't we? Free movement, remove from hand, uh, move two tiles. I. With one tile. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. This was a mistake. This was a mistake. Entirely. I have a problem here. I can do a long counter from him, but I can't hit him with that long strike at all. All I can do is quick kick this guy. And get shot. So that's kind of my only real option here, unfortunately. I'm going to get shot here. It's going to, I think, push me into his. All right. This could go real wrong real fast. Here we go. Yeah. So as good as I am with my managing uh, these guys and what I can do, I just eat some damage there twice, which is not fun. Tackle, bro. Spine on the pine, as they say. Dash up here. Push you. And then I hit the counter. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm out of, out of points there, more or less. He gets up, but he's dizzy. He moves. All right. I can 
free move. Yeah, but... He still got all his hit points because... Because, because... Alright, let's take this guy out here. Alright, that's fine. But... This... Is gonna be less fine. He didn't budge at all. Oh boy. That's a problem. I think you can see here what this game is, what it does, and how it works. I think it's really cool. It is out now in early access. I am a tax slug. Peep that stuff on Steam and on, I guess, GOG and the Xbox and whatnot. I'll see you next time right here. More videos. And I'm out.